morning everyone it is monday cheyenne she works five days a week and her what do you call that registration is due for her car and since i'm off i'm just going to that little kiosk you know machine that way i won't have to stand in line and wait there a very long time that way i can get her tax for her so i actually forgot i had to do that for her today till she reminded me yesterday because today i planned on doing not a thing i wasn't going to leave the house i wasn't going to do anything so i figured i better get up and do it it's only 10 o'clock right now but i figured i better get up and do it now because if i wait till later more people will be out more people will be off of work and savannah stayed home today she's sick she was sick all weekend and what is this car doing come on go so anyway she was sick all weekend and not feeling very good and congested she had the sniffles oh my goodness it's getting a little bit warm now i just got done with my shopping from winco and i got a i got a um call from savannah school all right that's done now I can go home and bought some soup for Savannah, but not the kind we normally make. Got her some, just a can of chicken noodle soup. Figured that'd be easier and it has more vegetables and stuff like that in it. That way she can have that. I bought some, something to cook for dinner tonight. So I'm actually going to just start on that. Even though it's early, it's 1130. I want to start slow cooking it so it can be tender. That's all I'm doing today, you guys. I'm gonna go home, jump back in my pajamas, <laughs> and relax the rest of the day. I don't have to do anything, except probably pick Tariq up from work. Cannot wait till he gets a car. All right, you guys, so I am back home. Let me turn on some light so you can see me better. Just gave Savannah her soup, and I'm actually going to start on dinner. I am going to slow cook some steak i already seasoned it i usually like to marinate it overnight i'm going to put this in on 200 and i just seasoned it with you guys know i love creole seasoning so this is what i use to season i'd say about 90 percent of the food that i make so i just put that on and that's the only seasoning i'm going to use right now you guys so i got a new table runner from home goods and i actually got this on the holiday section to me it's just really cute so i'm just going to keep it out all year and it's the same little tassel on the other side and it was super long so i just folded it here and this right here you guys was actually over there and i don't know if you remember but i had this stuff in it this is not going to stay there i just didn't have a better place to put it and it's just there for now and these two candle holders i guess it was i guess it is it was over there so i just placed it over here which looks very good and even though these are fall I leave these out all year long because i told you guys i'm not the kind to change decorations for fall or spring or stuff like that this matches my living room so until i find something that looks better this is just going to stay where it is and also at home goods i got oh and this stuff that's in here i actually got from ikea so just potpourri and it actually smells really good i don't really like the inside of that because it reminds me of a spider but as long as i don't look at it too much and think about it i'm okay but this stuff smells really good citrusy and i like it and these coasters i also got from home goods it's a set of six for seven bucks and even though it's gold and it really doesn't match anything in the living room it doesn't look bad so i am just going to keep that there all year long and now i'm looking at this and i'm like okay that has to be redone so eventually i am going to i still like this because it matches my orange in my living room unless i find something better um yeah so i'm still going to keep that table runner up there but i'm going to change this whole decorations right there i'm probably going to leave the flowers but I may change candles and I don't know. We'll see you guys. But this is the new stuff that I got over the weekend. And this was actually, I think, $14. So not that bad at all. And this is actually two packs of potpourri from Ikea. And I think it was 
five bucks each so yeah pretty cheap to spruce the house up and make it look good now I just gotta find a place for that it's green and it doesn't match my living room and it still has a good smell it still smells like I don't know it just smells really good and no it's funny remember I told you my girls have an issue with um, things with holes in them so they flipped it over <laughs> even though you could still see it through the glass I don't know anyway so yeah that's there until I figure out a better place for it or I don't know I'll probably just toss it so guys I uh, fashioned another terrarium Get your finger off the, um, like. um, and it's been like two days three days and we already have root systems growing and root systems I don't even know if that's the, if that's the word um, can they see yeah, yeah. So we have a, where's that other one yet? right there there's roots being dug down into the rocks. the yeah the rocks mm -hmm. and we have a little sproutlings of new plants coming in right there see it's been two days, two or three days, and we're already crazy substantial with growth. That looks pretty dope, this shot. Where was that at? Are you sure you can see there it? you go, yeah, that looks pretty dope. This is my terrarium. Look how big the space is, though. It's pretty cool. Okay, so I don't know if you guys remember, but when was it? Back in the summer or earlier this year? It was back in the summer. Back in the summer, he made a terrarium out of one of my light bulbs. My good light bulbs. He got out of the packaged. The packaged. Out of the package and he made a terrarium. Well, why did you throw that one away? I don't know. I just did. He just did. I don't know. Actually grew and it thrived. I don't know why he threw it away. So anyway, he made the one you guys just seen. He got the jar from Home Goods, which I think is just like a regular... <laughs> jar that you store stuff in and he bought the rocks and this black mesh netting mm -hmm. from the pet store and the rest he just got from outside he went outside the backyard in the front he got dirt and he got the plants. little uh, what a few, plants. a few plants but those pretty much like grass stems so this thing just baffles my mind because it it's supposed to stay closed and to me it's like how is it gonna thrive if it's closed but he looked it up and I guess um, it's working, though. I know but uh, he looked it up and I guess the way you put the water in something about the condensation on the glass and how it comes back up cycle. and goes back in water cycle whatever so just yeah like just like what like earth. so if you open that lid will it stink no it just smells it, 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 it no it you're supposed to smell like foresty uh-huh grass and all that but if it smells like like it's rotting then you probably should give that you probably just need to do it again but no, it smells really it smells really earthy i don't want to smell i'm good okay. yeah I, I, I wasn't asking to smell i'm just really saying because to me if something's closed in and has a bunch of dirt in it then it's not no, going it to smell very like, good it just smells like uh, like the earth like, yeah it just smells like ground and outside basically i guess but I'm, I'm really have, like surprised that they're still green from when I got them outside, and new plants are sprouting. Like, what the heck, man? I don't understand it, but whatever, you guys. Savannah, she's just been laying down all day because she's not feeling well. She did get up, however, to eat some soup that I got her. And I actually just got back in the house from dropping Tyreek off at work. Yes, I went like this. <laughs> I really don't care. I didn't get out the car, so no one's seen me. And actually right now, I'm about to check on dinner, so let's do that. Okay, so this is what it looks like so far. Of course, it's not done yet. Okay, so I put them back in the oven, and I'm just gonna let that continue cooking. So I'm gonna wash these mixing bowls out that I got, you guys. These are Ray Dunn, and the ones that 
people are really going crazy over are the large letter items and when I mean large letter I mean see how my Ray Dunn stuff back there has the large letters on it that's why they call it the large letter items so you guys probably think I mean this whole Ray Dunn craze if any of you who collect or know anything about Ray Dunn it's just it's so crazy it's such a crazy world and people are going crazy over everything but me not so much I mean I did in the beginning I take that back I did the beginning because I just wanted to get what I wanted so now that I have what I want I'm not so crazy over you know oh I gotta find Ray Dunn but however when I do go to Home Goods I don't go to Home Goods just to check on Ray Dunn I mean if I find something that I want I'm gonna get it but if not then I won't so anyway I've never seen mixing bowls in the store so when I seen these these are not the large letter ones however I just couldn't pass them up I and mean, they are so cute and even though it doesn't really match my kitchen I still had to get them so let me show you guys so they just have the small icon I mean the small lettering in it, it says pinch this one says dash and this one says mix and I will show you guys later I think I've actually showed you guys before large letter mixing bowls how they look they say the same thing except it's just on the outside see how these are the black and white polka dot on the outside so don't have any sayings on the outside just the inside but I had to get them because they were so cute and I'm not going to display these I'm actually going to use these but I need to wash them out because as you can see they're dusty and dirty from I don't know how long it's been sitting probably not very long because Ray Dunn items does not stay on the shelf very often I mean very long and people are going goo goo gaga <laughs> over all the Christmas items and this one just says holly and jolly I actually think I might trade for something else but I don't know if there's anything else that I want I there's really nothing that I want and these two mugs were $9.99 so $10 but I guarantee you on the Macari app I'm guaranteeing they're probably trying to sell one mug for like 40 bucks and actually I go check I'll go check later to show you guys but yeah I got that and I left it in there and I didn't wash it because I'm not sure if I want to keep them or trade it for something else so I left my eggs out right there because I'm actually going to make a cake later and I want to use my new mixing bowl so that's why I need to wash these out okay so I washed the bowls out but I just wanted to show you guys and I know I've showed you guys before but it still amazes me how greedy people are behind money so anyway this one's $14.99 so $15 this one is eight and this one is $13 so roughly around 36 for the three bowls right so I'm looking here on the Macari app and right here the same bowls the same ones that I have right look what they're selling them for $63 that's ridiculous and that's just it makes no sense to me but people buy it these are the ones that I was telling you that says pinch dash and mix on the outside and this is actually sold look at $90 and these cost the same as the ones I have but on these apps they're selling it for outrageously crazy prices and yeah this is ridiculous you guys but look $85 for all three of those but it's, it's see it's sold because it's so hard to find because the upsellers know that people want Ray Dunn so much that they literally I've seen them stock the stores they're at the stores like first thing in the morning and when the store opens they're running like crazy men and women yes I said men <laughs> men are in this also but how they pile their carts and you know they're not buying it for themselves they're buying it to sell it because it's hard to get and if Ray Dunn would only make more it wouldn't be this hard for people like me to um, find it in stores and a lot of this stuff you guys I did buy from Macari because I just even have some over there and my little tools container right there I did buy it on Mercari because I was just so sick and tired of waiting because when I buy something I want to go get it and 
I want to have it and that's it. I don't want to search for it or hunt for it and you know, go looking every day at the store. Ain't nobody got time for that. So I did buy some things on Mercari, but when I did it, I scrolled all the way down or I kept scrolling and some people I even negotiated with asked them to lower the price or something like that. So yeah, this is just ridiculous how Ray Dunn the, this is ridiculous how the Ray Dunn craze is. Anyway, you guys, should I make the cake now? Okay, so I just wanted to show you guys. So remember the Holly Jolly Ray Dunn mugs that I have? So for two, it was $9.99, so $10, right? Look at this. Look how much it's going for, and people do buy them because, like I said, it's hard to find. 40 bucks for two mugs that were only $10. This is ridiculous. And people are doing it because, number one, they can. Number two, it's hard to find in stores for true collectors like me who just want it to actually use it. Look at this. Ridiculous. 37, 34, 42, 37, 39, 48 dollars and it actually sold. Yeah, that's ridiculous. So I was thinking about doing Vlogmas, you guys. And you guys know lately, I've been really bad at vlogging <laughs> vlogging failure 101 here right and before I used to try to at least put two to three vlogs out a week and now it's like one a week maybe I don't know I don't know what's going on with me I know I told you guys that before but right now I know it's just my work schedule and I'm just trying to get used to the different work schedule I don't know that's the only thing I can think of what's going on I don't know so anyway, I want to do Vlogmas, and I'm going to try. However, I'm not going to guarantee you that I'm going to do it. I don't want, because usually when I give my word for something, I like to follow through. And if I don't think I can follow through, I'll say maybe. So I may do Vlogmas. So I will start, <laughs> and we will see, but I won't call it Vlogmas. I'll just call it Vlogs. So I go to my cabinets and I'm getting something out for dinner, right? And this is our one of our cereal containers. And so the lid's off like that. And I looked at it and I'm like, okay, who in the world then did this? Most of the marshmallows are gone. So I'm pretty sure I know who's the culprit for this one. 